These are the perfect getaway vehicles. That's according to Europol. It says low-cost airlines are unwittingly carrying pickpockets and fraudsters across borders, creating concerns about a new type of high-flying criminal. Here at Europol HQ, the detectives are working out new cross-continental ways to help the domestic police tackle these super-speed criminals. They're jumping on low-cost airlines, they're hitting a few targets in one day and getting home uh, by the end of the day in time for their tea. And is this the kind of problem that's more prevalent in one particular group or, or nationality? Well, I think it's important not to stigmatise any particular community. This is a phenomenon that we're seeing across many different countries involving many different nationality types. It's a particular trend in some areas of criminal activity from, from parts of Eastern Europe, from Lithuania, Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, but also gangs from Ireland, for example, that, that have been active. Cities served by multiple low-cost carriers are more likely to be targeted and places like Amsterdam and London have been identified as especially vulnerable because they attract so many big spenders. What we're talking about here are the traditional kinds of crime. So with bank machines, criminals use hidden cameras attached to phones, attached to the top of ATMs and they can capture as customers enter their PIN numbers. The difference now is that these criminal gangs are using low-cost airlines to enter and exit a country before the police even know that they're there. This is a growing phenomenon. Some gangs now include more than 60 nationalities. Sharing knowledge extends their power. Europol says police must do the same if they're to intercept these airborne criminals. Anna Holligan, BBC News in The Hague.